Hey, what's going on? I made a soundboard. It's really stupid. What's up guys? Vim Diesel here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I built it. Uh, and there's actually one pretty cool feature. So uh, you might be interested in that. Okay, so a soundboard, uh, right? So basically, I just have some way of easily playing sounds yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anytime I want, right? And uh, yeah, let me let me show you how this works. So uh, it's a bash script. Um, built this while uh, Again, built it last night. I was procrastinating on something else, so I thought I will build this thing. Uh, yeah, so it's a it's a bash script, and it's uh, it's not very big. Seventy nine lines could be far smaller, but I decided to make it a little bit more robust. Okay, so it's a bash script, and uh, it has a usage right here, so you can see like this is how you actually use this thing, and uh, I can I can go and list all my sounds that I have right now. Uh, let's do that again. I can list all my sounds. There we go. And then I can play them too, right? So I can do a uh, soundboard and then I can say diesel. What's up guys, Vim Diesel here. Okay, cool. And uh, where, where, where are all these sounds? I just put them in the, in the sounds directory right here. So you can see diesel, yeah, super easy, right? So I can play any one of those ones, right? So if I do super easy. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, I have uh, a symlink to uh, soundboard SB. That's convenient for me, but the actual program is called soundboard dash. Okay. So let me let me show you this again. So okay, so I'm gonna do my SB Diesel, right? What's up, guys? Vim Diesel here. Okay, cool. But I only have three sounds. I want to get another sound, uh, and I'm gonna show you how Soundboard can actually download this and set this whole thing up for me. Okay, so here I've got uh, DistroTube, and I like when he says uh, proprietary garbage. It always makes you laugh. Uh, so let's let's find this here. Called Free Office. That's right. They're ditching LibreOffice for proprietary garbage. Okay, there we go for proprietary garbage. I, I love the way he says that, and also true. Bad move on their part. Okay, cool. So I've got a uh, soundboard, right? I'm gonna pass in the link to it. Okay, so uh, to the the YouTube video, I'm gonna pass in the time that I think roughly he he started talking. So I think it was uh, or, or saying proprietary garbage. I think it was around roughly 105, and it goes to 107, and I want to call this garbage. Okay, garbage. So let me hit enter here. Or proprietary garbage. Okay, so that, that was pretty close, but not quite. So let me try 106 and see what happens there. Very garbage. No, that's too fast. So I'm going to change this up again. I think 105.5. Proprietary garbage. Perfect. Great. Now, uh, if I do soundboard list, I've also got garbage in here. There we are. So I can do soundboard garbage like that. Proprietary garbage. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. But uh, so now, like, yeah, I'm doing this Proprietary from, the com garbage. <laughs> from the command line. Um, but I also want to, uh, you know, have a keyboard shortcut to be able to do these things, right? Because I can play this. What's up, guys? Vim Diesel here. Anytime I want, right? And uh, what's up, guys? Vim Diesel here. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I've got uh, I've got those notifications showing up too. Okay, so how how have I set that up? So uh, I have a uh, a keyboard. Well, I don't even know what you call it. Hotkey shortcut. Anyway, I have that that program that I can never uh, remember what it's called. Um, it is called SXHKD, right? So okay, so it's it's a keyboard da daemon, right? Daemon. Uh, and I have this thing set up so it can run my my sounds here. So I have it shift control and then plus N E I O. Okay. Uh, and then I have the sound, which is gonna be yeah, right? We want to play the yeah sound and the text for the notification. Diesel, uh, super easy. And now I had this one in here twice, but now we've got garbage, so I'm gonna say sound garbage. And what text do I want for that? I'm gonna have it say proprietary garbage there you go proprietary garbage give me an exclamation mark and that's it so um based on these keys so like n-e-i-o i'm on colmac this is actually my jkl uh semicolon but for like if i was on qwerty but i'm on colmac n-e-i-o and then notify send uh i don't need that icon it doesn't do anything there notify send uh, and it's going to send the text of proprietary garbage and it's going to play that sound so let me reload my thing and now proprietary garbage proprietary garbage 
Proprietary garbage. Okay, great. What's up, guys? Vim Diesel here. Proprietary garbage. Okay, perfect. So that that's the whole thing. Uh, I mean, it's really stupid. Okay, so let me let me show you how this bash script actually works. Um, most of it's pretty straightforward, but there's there's something kind of cool here. All right, so I define a few functions, and uh, you know, like a help function. I have oh, I, this is kind of cool. I check for requirements. So I'm writing this for myself. I know I have those things on my system, but if other people want to use it, you know, this is a good way for me to check. Like, do you actually have them? And then I check the requirements down here. And if they don't have it, then I uh, I error out, right? And I say, oh, you need that requirement. Okay, and then I just check the number of args. If there's no arguments, then I show the help and uh, exit one, right? So I, I'm exiting with an error. If you if you ask for help, we give you help. If you ask to list, we list. Uh, then we actually check the requirements and then we either play or download the sound depending on the number of arguments here. So play play is really simple. We just get the file path based on what you put in there. We error out if there's not a file there and then otherwise we play, right? So uh, let me show you that, right? So if I do, uh, you know, something else like uh, goose, that's not a thing, right? Goose not found, okay. But if I do garbage, it can find Proprietary the Proprietary garbage. It can find the file, so, so it'll do that. Okay, cool. Next, download. Now this this is the this is the coolest part here. Okay, so I'm I'm preparing the file path. Now this line right here. Uh, I found this on Stack Overflow. I should add this a uh, comment to this file explaining what this is doing. Okay, so what is this actually doing? So I'm I'm using a program which I will not name, uh, but you can look and see what that program is, and then I am. Uh, using it with this dash G uh, YouTube skip manifest. And it's going to give me back um, two lines, right? Two lines of text. The first one being the video video URL, second one being the audio URL. Then I'm using awk because I only care about the audio URL. So now I've got an audio URL that I can use with FFmpeg. Uh, dash Y is just because uh, I want to automatically override uh, if you are you know replacing a file. Um, okay, great. And then I'm taking your timestamps two to three, and then I'm getting that audio URL and setting it in the file path. And then on line 31, yeah, I, I play the thing after you download. All right. So the cool thing about this is that uh, I don't have to download the entire video just to get like the, the two seconds that I need using this uh, method. Like you only download the actual chunk that you need, and then you convert that to an MP3, which means that like, yeah, with, with, um, DistroTube stuff, like his videos are normally over 10 minutes, right? Uh, I don't want to download, you know, that file because it's going to be pretty big, but this way it's super fast. In fact, you could even say it's... Uh, super easy, barely an inconvenience. There we go. Okay, I love it. Okay, so that's it. If you have any uh, suggestions on how I could actually make this thing better, please let me know. Uh, I'm always looking to learn. If you have any questions, definitely um, hit me up. And, uh, you know, if you, if you have any improvements you want to make, uh, yeah, you can always uh, fork the repo and let me know about that. Okay, hope you're having a good day. Bye.